的。If you're looking for a dog named Beethoven, you're in the wrong place. My name is Brian, and I'm here to teach you how to steal your owner's money. To start, I would try selling some of your owner's belongings on an online platform. I sold his watches, his passport, and his dog Rascal, who was a real prick. Once you acquire some money, you can make even more money by investing it. But setting up a self-directed investing account as a crab is very difficult. Because they always say this. We cannot help you if you don't have a sin number. Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait! Oh my God, she hung up on me. Son of a. See what I mean? I'm so tired of that old hag always hanging up on me. So the best option is to just hijack your owner's bank account. There are multiple ways to do this. One way is to spy on them when they are typing in their account number and password. Here, this looks like a good spot to hide. Unfortunately, the waiting process can take a while. He probably won't be using the PC anytime soon, so I'll show you another way to access these accounts. Look for one of those human purses, and then use something sticky to go fishing for cards. Ah,、oh, you little. It's probably best to do this when your owner is distracted. I'm lucky my owner isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, and he's lucky he isn't using the sharpest tool in the shed.、Ah! Wow, I really like that sound. We are getting real close. Nice. What I get? What I get? What I get? Oh, son of a! Gun! It's an optimum card. This isn't optimal at all. Okay, you're on your own on that one. You will most likely still need a password anyway, so yeah, figure that one out. Now I actually found the password a long time ago and was just giving you a tutorial. Most of the humans use the same password for everything, like my stupid owner. So you might even get lucky and have access to many different accounts. We can now invest or go on a shopping spree. I noticed he has this savings account thing, and since the money just sits there, I figured he clearly is not using it. So I had it transferred for a little shopping spree. Let's go on the PC now, and I'll work my magic. Okay, now go to Google Chrome. If you can't find that, then you probably are already dead due to natural selection. Like, come on, guys. This isn't rocket science here.、And、then you're gonna want to go to Amazon. This is where you can buy some fancy things. Now you don't want to get too fancy. That's something the humans would do. Yeah, you know my owner even has credit cards saved on here. It's a beautiful thing.、And、so we're gonna look at vivariums. Oh yeah, here we go. Terrariums. Yeah, we can deal with that. Add that to the cart. Why not? It's not my money.、Uh, we're gonna need some food. That'll last me, you know, all year. Waterfall, pretty little man doing his thing, eh? Hmm. That is nice. I don't think he's gonna catch too much, but let's add it to the cart. More toys. What else do we got? Uh. Yeah, that kid's gonna take out somebody's eye with that. Oh, here we go. Dinosaurs. Who doesn't like dinosaurs? Buy it. We need some WMDs.、Uh, they only got books, eh? Hmm. Well, let's try some Nerf gun stuff. You know, maybe Nerf grenades. Oh yeah, Nerf grenades. That's where it's at. Hmm. Oh yeah. That, yeah, that's doable. Oh, definitely. Yes, that is what we need. Add it to the cart, and then you check out. Yeah, so so that's that. Oh frig, did I just buy a bunch of plastic?、Uh, oh frig, humans have made it nearly impossible to do anything now without contributing to the destruction of our planet. 
I mean, I totally just lost control. Hopefully I didn't spend too much. I should note that humans can track this purchasing activity and become highly suspicious of you. My owner, on the other hand, doesn't seem to pay much attention to his account activity because when a package arrives in the mail that I ordered, he usually just accepts it and assumes he forgot about purchasing it. <laughs> it's like a memory loss thing, I think. I hope your owner has memory loss as well. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber. Now, assuming you are able to acquire the password, somehow, mm, let's now focus on what we all came here for. Investing money to grow even more wealth. Why, you ask? Well, we need money to fix the mess that the humans made. Unless you crabs live under a rock, which I'm sure most of you literally do, allow me to show you some of the nonsense these entitled pricks of our planet engage in. There's deforestation, pollution, Plastic, ugh, overpopulation, I mean I can't even find Waldo anymore. There is many more too, and on top of everything else, they are serving us up as a delicacy. Okay, so maybe not every human is complete trash, like these people aren't as bad. But humans are just, they're a different kind of animal is they have an ego that is further along the evolutionary road than your typical animal. Now, ego dissolution can be performed on your owners, but it is never permanent, I don't think. But that's a whole other video tutorial, and I probably can't show you. If another species were to catch up in evolution, hypothetically speaking, they would most likely go after the human race. Hmm, where was I? Oh uh, yeah, human ego. So, so basically this stimulates comparison which leads to competition, which then leads to capitalism and many other issues. We even have these weasel lizards that are preying on these people. It's like a pretty vicious cycle, but let's not get into it. What are we gonna do tomorrow night? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world! So the easiest way to make the world a better place is by acquiring money so that you can A, delete the human population so life on Earth can flourish. No, 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 just kidding. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that. Um, you know, and that would make us no better than the humans, really, because that is what they are doing to us. B, we could try to influence humans to not use palm oil products, try to eat mainly a plant-based diet, which is tough. I mean, I'm trying to be a flexitarian. So buying sustainable fish and meat you know, once in a while is okay. And lastly, switching to clean energy. Then we have a creative approach like C, building a rocket for the humans and shooting them off on the trajectory of a black hole, launching them into the abyss. Ah, oh, that's what dreams are made of. And lastly, but not least, D, building a rocket and launching them into space in hopes that they can inhabit another planet and destroy that one instead of ours. In conclusion, I decided building a rocket is too hard, so I'll stick with B. Influencing the human race. In order to do this, you are going to need money for marketing. Which brings me back to investing. To summarize, we are actually fighting the rich with the money we make by also being capitalists. Kind of ironic. My apologies for the ramble. I, you know, become sidetracked very easily if you haven't noticed. The quickest way to make money in the stock market is through option trading, but it can also come with a lot more risk if you are not an experienced investor. There are ways though to minimize this risk. Since my lifespan is roughly about 3 years in captivity, we have some time on our hands, and so a long term approach is what we will talk about today. 3 years isn't a super long term approach, but as a crab it is. So we will try to make it work, and if longer than 3 years is needed, then well, my kids can carry on in my crab tracks. I'll stick with talking about stocks in this video, as other forms of investing might be more promising. They just don't satisfy me with the current interest rates. The date is February 10th, 2021. So picking stocks. In my personal opinion, and I am not a financial advisor in case you haven't figured that out yet, I look at the following. What industries are going to grow in the future? This should be pretty obvious, but... If you don't know, you can do some research. Uh, next, what companies in these industries are going to do well? Not every company is going to succeed. Some are just complete trash. You need to understand how to find value and where they are going to be in the future. 
Oh, and those crabs to the right, those are my friends and you will meet them in future videos. Next and most importantly, what do their balance sheets look like? You need to look at earnings growth, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Look at the PE ratio, debt, assets to liabilities, the management team, and what their plans are for the future. And you know, there's many more things too, but we could go on all day literally. Honestly, a ton of new investors don't even pay attention to this anymore, and they just buy stocks and then ask questions later because they have this fear of missing out. You don't want to do this. You really want to pay attention to the balance sheet and understand the companies. Finding amazing value can be tough though, don't get me wrong. But hey, if it's easy, it's not worth doing usually. You can apply that to almost everything in life. Also, you should look at what percent do the insiders own. If they own shares in it, then they are more likely to be motivated to make the company succeed. If insiders don't own it, then they probably don't believe in the company. Diversification is important also. You should diversify by investing into multiple industries, but also diversify into multiple companies in each industry you believe in. You should pay attention to where you are keeping your investments. You really don't want to make a ton of money and then realize you've had it in the wrong account and you're going to have to pay a ton of taxes now on it or, you know, there's there's all kinds of different scenarios. But So you need to look at, are you keeping them in a tax-free savings account, an RRSP, or, you know, maybe a cash account? This depends on a number of factors like risk level, age, annual salary, and basically what you plan to do with the investment in the future. You can and you should talk to an accountant or the CRA about this. Analyzing graphs um, can be very helpful too, especially when you're buying. Um, I like to look at the RSI, the EMA lines, MACD, they all come in handy. So now we're going to look at psychology, which can play a huge role in investing, and some humans overlook this. Don't be a stupid human. Trends and news affect the stock market in a major way. When I see a company that I own shares and go up way too fast, I actually get nervous. But when I see a stock that I own go down, I get excited because I'm going to buy more. This is how you should feel because if you aren't confident in your investments, you might make an emotional or very irrational decision that you may regret. By the way, this is just some basic information um, because I want to pique your interest into ways of making a passive income. But this information alone isn't enough. You need to do a lot more research and you need to read more about the stock market. It will take you a long time to fully understand it and I'm still learning every day after two and a half years. My first year was a complete disaster but I learned a lot from these mistakes so I would recommend a stock simulator using a paper money account to start. Same goes with option trading. Will you actually listen to me and use a simulator? I highly doubt it, but don't say I didn't warn you. Here's some more warnings. Watch out for hype stocks and don't chase stocks. Usually when there is a lot of hype around a stock, it might not be the right time to buy. Penny stocks can be extremely rewarding but also very high risk. Never invest all your money into one stock and it's always a good idea to have some capital on the side in case a recession occurs. This will allow you to average down or pay your bills if needed. Six months worth of capital on the side is recommended, but there is no harm in having more. Use paper money to practice because your first year of investing will probably be messy. It's important to learn from these mistakes and not to give up. Oh crap, I already said that. Um, whatever, I'm saying it again, it's important. You need to take into account the fees and charges also. Every brokerage platform is different. You should note that it can be very addictive and you know it might help you in a way because it's addictive and you will you know maybe be able to learn more about it but that can also turn into a real problem. And hindsight is 2020 so you know don't dwell on what companies you should have bought into. Learn and move on. I'm not going to recommend specific stocks because I'm not a financial advisor and I don't want to become part of the crab cake population when you screw up and come after me because you didn't do your homework or you didn't, you know, take you don't take full responsibility for your actions or whatever. You didn't know when to sell, you didn't know what time to buy. Oh my god. 
That was painfully boring. Anyways, do your own research and enjoy it. Learning is fun, and your school probably won't educate you on investing. Also, investing right now might not be the best idea, but you need to decide for yourself. There is a lot of overvalued companies, so be careful. Next time on I Have Crabs, my evil friend Simon will show you how to manipulate your owner into cooking you tacos. I'm going to go play GTA now. Not in real life, I mean the video game. Oh, and one more thing. If your dog or child hacks into your account, that's on you, not me. See you next time.